if you asked me to write my name in lowercase letters, I'd actually have to try really, really hard <laughs> to write it in lowercase because I am super good, super fast at writing in uppercase letters. All caps. I'm an all cap girl. It's like I'm yelling at myself all the time when I'm writing. <laughs> Hey! Welcome back! It is your girl Katie Fortune with Motivation Moment. I am so excited for you to be here today. Thank you. And if you are new, welcome my friend. And if you are not, welcome back. I appreciate you watching these every single week and sharing them with people that you think may need something I talked about. Or just a good laugh at my bloopers at the end. Because videos are not easy to record. And I do make mistakes. Your girl Kate is not perfect. <laughs> at all. All right, so last week we talked about how learning about yourself, your strengths, and your areas of improvement are super important. And then I teased a little, just a little, and if you haven't watched it, stop this now, go listen, come back, or just watch it, I don't know, whatever. But I teased a little, about the upcoming weeks. So here we are. Today, I wanna to talk about why I still write in all capitals. Like all uppercase letters, that is how I write. Every single day, all day long, if you asked me to write my name in lowercase letters, I'd actually have to try really, really hard <laughs> to write it in lowercase because I am super good, super fast at writing in uppercase letters. All caps. I'm an all cap girl. It's like I'm yelling at myself all the time when I'm writing. <laughs> Anyways, but where did that start? So for the people that don't know, there's probably a lot of people that don't know, but my background is in interior design. And I went to UW Stout. I say it all the time. This is not an ad yet. Stout, reach out to me. I'd love to set something up together so I can get more people to go to your college because it's great. I digress. So I went to Stout and my background and my major was interior design. And we had to take many, many classes as we all know, but I took an arch graphics class. I believe that's what it's called, but I can't remember. I think that's what it's called. But that class, we had to learn how to write. That sounds crazy, right? It kind of is. <laughs> so we literally had to learn how to write. If you've ever looked at old architectural plans, if you haven't, go over on Google and just Google it and check it out. But look at how the hand lettering is on those plans. We had to learn how to write in all capitals. There were so many different things that we had to learn. It was crazy. I could get into this and it would take all day. So. I'll spare you that information. But what they wanted us to do was to write like that in all of our classes because we need to as interior designers. Not decorator, I'm a designer, okay? It's like architect, designer, decorators, okay? Keep that clear, okay? So, <laughs> seriously, it's, it's, it's a sore topic for us designers, okay? Anyways, so... <laughs> We had to write in all caps. All right, so I loved it. I was writing in all caps, loved every second of it, and I never quit. I saw a lot of my classmates, they would write normal, and other people would write normal, and I wouldn't. I just kept writing in all caps. It never hit me until recently, like maybe a couple years ago, that I was like, why do I still write in all caps? Like, it is so natural to me. Like I said before, I literally have to think about how to write my letters in lowercase letters if I have to for some reason. Always capitals. And actually, fun fact, that is why my logo, the Katie Fortune logo, is the way it is. It's my handwriting and it's all in caps, how I write. There's a little fun fact for you. So I'll get to it. I'm sorry, I'm so talky today. All right. <laughs> Writing in caps. Why do I still write in caps? 
it hit me one day. I honestly think I was like laying in bed or something and I was thinking about it. And I'm like, why am I writing caps? Like I, no one else that I remember, not too many, there's a few, still write in all capital letters. Day to day, I mean. And it hit me. I'm like, oh my gosh. Capital letters don't flip on themselves like lowercase letters do. Let me explain. I'm dyslexic. We all should know that by now. But if you're new, I'm dyslexic. And when you're talking about B's, P's, nines, sixes, Q's in lowercase, flip. When I read and I read a book, it flips on me. I don't know it does it. It just does it. And that's why it's so hard to read. And there's other letters too, but those are like the really flippy ones. And I thought about it and I'm like, in uppercase B, in uppercase P, in uppercase Q, do not look the same at all. I'm like, what? That is such a crazy thing. I have been writing in uppercase letters because I just always have, but I didn't even realize subconsciously it is easier for me to read in all capital letters. My friend, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding with you right now. I read so much faster and so much easier when it's in uppercase or capital letters. And I've been writing like that for years. Since I was in college, probably in 2008, I would say, is when I started writing in capital letters. And I've always done it. And here's another fun fact. I catch that my dad actually writes in a lot of uppercase letters. Not all of them, but he does as well. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And go listen to a previous episode about my dad and I, but he's also dyslexic, has never been diagnosed, but we know he is. So I'm like, what? It just never hit me. And so that's something that I learned about myself and actually just hit me only a few years ago. But that is why. And I, I sometimes I'll just type things out in uppercase letters. No, I'm not yelling at you. It is just so much easier for me to read it because nothing's flipping as much. It's not perfect, but it's not flipping around and messing me up all the time. So how crazy is that? So there's your little fun fact for the day, I guess, that I write in all capital letters. I thought it was because I took this arch graphics class and I really liked writing that way, but then underlying, I realized, oh my gosh, it's because I can read it and understand it so much better. Crazy. I mean, for real. So that is why learning about how you learn or what you do things, your strengths and your areas of improvement is so important. I am never going to go back to those lowercase letters. And teachers, if you're listening to me, I'm sorry. I know you taught me all of it. Obviously, I can write. Yes, I can write in cursive. No, don't make me read in cursive because that is an, another whole topic. It's a disaster waiting to happen. But uppercase and capital letters are my jam. And that is what I do all the time. So if I ever write you a handwritten note, if you're ever on my podcast, by the way, you'll be getting a handwritten note from me. But if I ever write you a handwritten note, you will notice all uppercase. So learn about yourself. Learn about how you do things differently and own it because it's awesome. This is me owning that I write in capital letters because I'm dyslexic. But dyslexia doesn't have me. All right, my friend, less hate. Let's go motivate and get out there and learn about you. Learn about the things that you are super awesome at and things that you may struggle with because that will make you a better you. Have a great day. See ya. Like if, oh my God, I have hair. It's just like coming out of my head and it tickles my arms. Seriously. Oh, it's right there. Got it. Okay.